Man, it's been a while since we've been inside the Disneyland Hotel. And now we're finally coming back. They finally opened it. I know. Look at this. The Disneyland Hotel. Look at the map. Oh, yes. <laughs> it lights up too. Look. You see over here? The Jungle Cruise. A little steam stack right here is glowing. <laughs> There's the pool at the Disneyland Hotel. Yeah, this is a really cool map, guys. I like it. Look. There's the Tomorrowland Jets. I don't know if you can see it, but... There's a glare. So There's a glare. You can see that. <laughs> but you can kind of see the Tomorrowland Jets. This is a really cool map. Nice and interactive. I like it. Look, so here at Tangaroa Terrace, you can get an Asian salad. These are already made. Caesar salad with crispy chow mein right here. Like a little uh, place where you can come and get some quick snacks. You got uh, beers, of course, alcohol. They have a tuna sandwich down there. So they got a lot of stuff you can either come and just grab. Grab and go. Grab and go. <laughs> the sun's a little harsh right here. Janelle's ordering some food. Uh, we just got to sit down. It's first come, first serve. So we got our table. It's kind of in the sun, but it's the only table we can actually get. This is fine. We're right next to the swimming pool. Look at this at the Disneyland Hotel. It's good to be back, that's for sure. I'm excited because you can actually order inside, but there's also a um, mobile order that you can do too. So we just have to find a seat here. And we got lucky enough to find this little table here, which is nice because it's right next to the pool and the little view of the, the hotel back there. It's really nice. And we've got a virtual queue in three hours to go inside Trader Sam's. So I'm excited for that. That's gonna be exciting. I know, there's a lot of things going on, so I can't wait for you guys to see. Look at that beautiful food. Thank you. Wow. All right, thank you. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Take a look at all this beautiful food. Wow, <laughs> look at the colors. It is gorgeous, guys. I'm telling you right now, I'm getting really hungry and I can't wait to get inside. That's Janelle's Poke Bowl. This is mine right here. That's the Hawaiian platter. Wow, and then these are the wings. Look how beautiful these wings look like. Oh, and this is the shrimp tempura. And then right here we have some sweet oh, potato fries sorry. that I don't really wanted. <laughs> I got some things so we can eat and dig in. Yeah. All right, guys, so right here at the Tangaro Terrace, I have this beautiful Hawaiian platter. Look at this, guys. There's Thai jasmine rice. You have some macaroni salad, and you also have whether you're someone who likes chicken, you can get roasted chicken, or you can get this very delicious, which I wanted, roasted pork belly. So I can't wait to try this out, and I believe this on the side is kind of like a soy sauce. I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna try it out and see what it is. And about that chicken, it's actually poached chicken. I said roasted chicken, I was incorrect. That's the pork belly. Oh yeah. Here's the pork. Mm. Very, this roasted pork, it's very tender, juicy, and it tastes like, almost like marinated teriyaki. It is really good, surprisingly. Honestly, my favorite thing here now, that's Tangaroa Terrace. I can't wait to get into these though. I really can't. There's so much food. <laughs> mm -hmm. Try that rice out. Jasmine rice. My favorite thing in the whole entire world is the macaroni salad. <laughs> Every time I go to a Hawaiian restaurant, I have to order extra of the macaroni salad. It's just my favorite. Perfect. This is an excellent dish. If you're here at Tangaroa Terrace, definitely try out the Hawaiian platter. You're not going to be disappointed. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put some of that pork inside of that. So it looks like a soy sauce or something. It's actually like a teriyaki because it's, it's like a glaze. <laughs> nice and sweet. That is teriyaki. It makes things a hundred times better. <laughs> so I got the poke bowl with crispy onions, avocado, sliced cucumber, fish roe or masago. You also have crab salad and then you have also a choice of tuna, salmon, salmon or marinated tofu, which is really pretty nice for those vegetarians and those vegans, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, look how exciting that looks. Wow, I colorful. Love, so colorful and I want something fresh. I got a little bit of the everything, a little bit of seaweed salad, crab. Mmm. Oh my goodness, this poke bowl is so light and fresh. I actually like the crispy onions right on top because it gives it a little extra cr uh, crunchy texture and the cucumbers on the side as well. The tuna, it tastes like it's freshly catched. It's so delicious and moist and 
Mmm, scrumptious and fresh. Oh my goodness, you're looking for something light and fresh and full of packed flavor. Give yourself this Pokeball because you won't be disappointed. Now this is something I used to get at Trader Sam's all the time. It was one of my favorites. It's the sweet and spicy chicken wings with a togarashi sauce. Wow. I'm really excited to try this right now because I've been missing these for such a long time. They and used to I used have them in like the poopoo -poo platter, remember? Yeah, they used to have them in the poopoo -poo platter. And I used to get these with a Krakatoa punch. That was like mm. my combination right there. So I'm glad to finally have these. And look how beautiful they are, guys. Look at that beautiful glaze. And there's little sesame seeds right on top. <laughs> I'm excited. So excited. Yeah, here we go. It. Oh my god. Are you back? I'm back. Are you back? I'm back. At the tropics? <laughs> I'm back at the tropics. I'm One of my favorite things ever. What I like about these chicken wings is they're nice and crispy on the outside and I can still taste the crispiness of that wing. Nice, juicy, and tender on the inside and it has a nice little glaze. It's very sweet. Not so spicy actually. It is delicious guys and if you guys want to try something like this, pair it up with a nice drink like the Krakatoa Punch guys and you will be happy you did. <laughs> and I also got the tempura shrimp with ponzu sauce. Look at the presentation. It looks really nice, doesn't Beautiful. it? Beautiful, it's like you're on a getaway. I'm a sucker for presentations. If it looks pretty, like, I'm all in for it. Mm hmm Mmm, gonna have to get some of that ponzu sauce. That crunch. So I don't know if you heard that crunch, but that crunch was like, chef's kiss it's soft and delicate outside crunchy layer you also have the juiciness of the shrimp right inside and you have the spicy little aioli sauce which is the same one that you had remember yeah and then the ponzu sauce gives it a little extra like in flavor town <laughs> it's so good it looks like it's nice and flaky mm -hmm. oh yeah flaky warm it's like the perfect little like side dish you know it's so good do you recommend I recommend this 100%. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're planning to go to the Tangaroa Terrace, you can order your food with mobile order, or you can choose to dine inside. It's first come, first serve seating, so just be aware of that. And if you want to have a drink inside of the Tangaroa Terrace bar, you can wait in line in a standby, and when you get up there, you can choose your drinks at the bar. Now, if you want to go to Trader Sam's, you do have to have your name put in a virtual queue, and they'll call you up when they're ready to have you inside of Trader Sam's. And let me tell you guys, it might take a while. Look at these right here. Those are real pineapples. Look, cast member pointed these out to us. I didn't get his name, but look. They're little mini pineapples and they planted these right before the shutdowns. And look, now the little baby pineapples. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's awesome. Look, he's so cute. I like that tote bag. Where's Mickey? Is he in here? Oh, he's there's in. Mickey. He's just hanging out. Hey, Mickey. <laughs> yeah, these are some really cool looking merch. And look, back there there's Sorcerer Mickey, Fantasia Mickey. And you can come and check this out here at the Fantasia shop. It's at the Disneyland Hotel. Look at this. Whoa. Coconut patties. I want this. So bad. So that's Trader Sam's. We're gonna go inside so you can see the real thing a little bit later, but isn't that such a cool print? I really like it. Oh man, I want this. There's so many things, but everything's just so, <laughs> so pricey, you gotta save up. That one is $39.99, 40 bucks. So if you guys want your own print, $39.99. I really like this store because it reminds me of like old 1990s Disney store. Yeah, kind of, you know, that, that vibe, the 90s yeah. vibe? Kind of has that here. So if you're into that, you're really going to like this shop. There it is, Fantasia Mickey right over here. You know, watch out! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> They're dropping some water on you. Ah, now, as soon as I walked in, I really, I really want this shirt. This is the Enchanted Tiki Room. I love wearing Hawaiian shirts. They also have this one here. I think I might go with the green one. Did you hear that? I think I might go with the green one. So these are actually new. These little ear holders. This is Minnie Mouse on here. This one's Mickey Mouse. So basically what you do is just 
snap that, having ears, some mm -hmm. ears here. Oh, yeah. And just clip them on like this. And there you go. Where do they go? You put it either on your belt loop, you can also put it on your backpack, like hanging on there. What? Or anywhere you like. That's pretty cool. Yeah, or your keychain. So they whatever. have, which, who's this? This is Minnie? This is Minnie. Let's see, I can't see. They can't see. <laughs> Uh, Minnie Mouse. Yeah, there you go, Minnie Mouse. The ears are not included. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Mickey. Oh, and here's the Mickey Mouse one for the Mickey Mouse fans. I know this is probably something you would really mm -hmm, use. I would use that, yeah. So I'm thinking of getting the Minnie Mouse one, the pink one. And just clip it on there. You can also use it for like your keys, the little keychain things there. So you can use it for anything actually, your keychain, or I mean your keys, your ears. It's a multitasking little holder thing. Yeah, nice. <laughs> How much are these? These are teal, which... What is teal? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, right over here, teal. $14.99. $14.99. You yeah. have many options. You can even clip it on top of your little thing up here if you wanted to. Sorry, I'm a little... <laughs> up there if you wanted to. Oh, that looks way better, yeah. I'm trying to give you options here. <laughs> <laughs> you can put it here if you wanted to. Just have them ready. Ready. The parade comes on. Once the parade, <laughs> yeah, once the parade comes, oh my gosh. put it on. Put oh it my on. Gosh. Don't hurry. And you just do that. Oh yeah. <laughs> my gosh, I have such cute jewelry here. Look at this bracelet. It's so nice. Little Minnie Mouse earrings. Cute little rose gold bracelets. These are so cute. I think I might get this little bow. She's so cute. What is that? Very precious. It's a bracelet. Oh. Ah. All right. <laughs> That's a pretty sick hat. <laughs> totally 90s. Remember the strap I showed you? Well, this next bag I'm about to show you is going to take care of that for you. You just see. Look. It's a little section for your little ears. How cute. So you literally just like, let me figure it out with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so that takes away the necessity then, of that strap. I know, but some people don't want to waste like that much Yeah, money the lounge flies are kind of expensive. But, I mean, that's really cool. That's a great solution to carrying you your ears. Now you can show off your ears and see, like, look. <laughs> Showing off those ears. See? How cute. Wow. That's actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I know. And the best thing is, is, like, there's extra room. So it doesn't take so much space, you see? It's just a little pouch, and then inside you keep putting more stuff in. That's pretty nice. That is cool. Yeah. Look, and you'll be the talk of the town. You'll be the talk of the town. Look These at are that. really cool. Because you could bring your favorite ears or you could bring two ears. You need two ears. You can have your ears here, the ears here for a quick change. And yeah, they're so cute. How much is that lounge fly bag? This is $75. But again, you also have a little lanyard option you can have too, a little keychain option. Yeah, you can or keep on your belt. You can keep on your belt or on your lounge fly bag or any backpack actually. Yeah. And look, yeah, but this one's like specifically made for your ears. I love it. <laughs> it's so cute. It's really cool to be able to walk into the Disneyland Hotel and see some really nice historic pictures of this hotel. And it's really nice because it's it's all free. You can walk inside the hotel and see them for yourself. And there's a lot of history behind these pictures. I'll tell you that. That's amazing. I wish they would have kept that. That is really cool. And they used to have this little show here with the dancing water. They used to light up. And you can get some dinner there. Look at that. Now they're building the DVC where this used to be, that new DVC tower, that's where that's gonna be. Look how awesome that is. Some Disney magic. Does any of this stuff bring back some childhood memories? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. So we're inside the Disneyland echoey. Hotel. It's echoey in here, <laughs> inside the convention center. And right behind us there, that is Steakhouse, Steakhouse 55. 55. It's permanently closed, Steakhouse 55, which is very sad because I really loved that restaurant. Great for date I night. I know, great for date <laughs> night, delicious steaks and Oh dinner. yeah, super intimate inside, very small. And uh, I wish we filmed an episode, but we didn't. I know, we were supposed <sighs> to too. Hopefully and now it's they, permanently closed. Hopefully they bring back Goofy's Kitchen though, because that's Goofy's like, Kitchen. Goofy's oh Kitchen, you guys, gosh. okay, first of all. There is Goofy's Kitchen right there. I need you guys to put it in the comments, just t just type in Goofy, like start a chant down there, you know what I mean? Like start going Goofy, Goofy. I really want to see Goofy's Kitchen come back to life. Disneyland, come on, Goofy's Kitchen. 
really sad about Steakhouse 55, but Goofy's Kitchen, guys. I wonder if they're going to do any work to this to make it a lot bigger. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe they're updating it. Updating it or but I need some Goofy's Kitchen, guys. I really love it. If you're huge fans of Goofy's Kitchen, let me know in the comments below. I want you guys to write down <laughs> Goofy's Kitchen yes. with an exclamation point at the end of it. Make it known that you want it to be open. Let it be known, guys. <laughs> This is a tower we stayed at. This is the Frontier Tower. But look right next to it, guys. Whoa. Some construction. Some construction. <laughs> so, there's Mickey, look. <laughs> see that, it's little Mickey. Well, as you guys can see, there's a wall here. So right next to the Frontier Tower, they're gonna build a DVC, Disney's Vacation Club Tower, right over here. So the next time maybe you come over to Disneyland, maybe you'll see a Disney's Vacation Club Tower. Uh-huh. That'd <laughs> be really cool. Yeah, I wonder what kind of but restaurants they might have in there. Yeah, I do miss, like, remember they said, like, I think in the 90s, they said, like, the fountains yeah. and all that. Yep, they oh. used to have the fountains right over here, and they used to play some really cool music. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and the, the water it? would jump up in different yeah. colors. Yeah, that was really cool. And then they got rid of that, and it was just a bunch of pure grass where people had, like, the wedding events or, like, parties and yeah. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So. This is I'm where people used to have dinner right here. Like we saw a picture inside the Disneyland Hotel where people were having dinner right here and the fountains were right behind them. So there's a lot, of, a lot of things happening a here at the Disneyland Hotel. And we're all here for it, yes. Yep. Is this AstroTurf? I think so, it sounds crunchy. Yeah, right? <laughs> sounds very crunchy. We just need some potato sack racing. Oh, <laughs> from the Brady Bunch? Yeah. <laughs> when I used to be a kid, I used to come here every single day because I literally lived right across from the Disneyland Hotel. Yeah. And I would come here with my family and feed the koi fish because my dad oh. knew the cast member and the cast member would just like, want to come? Yeah, that's I cool. Remember. This is so cute. So it doesn't look like there's any koi fish right now, but look at that really nice waterfall right there. A miniature waterfall. That's really pretty. We used to have koi fish here, but I used to feed the koi fish over there, which is now like not there right now. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they, you know, they like give a little homage to it when they do go to DVC, but. Nice little homage. That'd be yeah. cool if they had like some waterways here, you know, yeah. in front of the hotel. Or bring back those waterfalls. Those waterfalls were pretty cool. Yeah. There's a nice little area here by the Disneyland Hotel, the Frontier Tower. Look, they got a little lounge you can sit in. It's kind of hidden. Yeah, I was gonna sit here and relax until our queue is called up. <laughs> <laughs> Until they call up our virtual queue. Yes, for Trader Sam's. <laughs> and we're right here next to the water, so. Ooh, it's let's like relax a little bit. Let's relax, guys. Oh, yeah. This is nice. <laughs> we just got summoned, or the text. The we got text. summoned to Trader Sam's? Yeah, to Trader Sam's. Hopefully, we get to sit inside because this I could know. be outside, too. I know, so you guys keep your fingers crossed in, the little, in that little camera there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If you don't, it's not a big deal. I don't mind sitting outside. We're still going to get that cricket tool punch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Trader Sam's. <laughs> hey, hold up. You can come to the bar and get some delicious drinks. But well, we are going inside of Trader Sam's. This is so exciting. Oh my goodness. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> We're so excited, guys. Oh man. I love being here. Trader Sam's. Family, if you want to see what kind of drinks they have here at Trader Sam's, you can scan the back of this and from home you can see what kind of drinks they have. Right now I just ordered the Krakatoa Punch and it's honestly my favorite drink and you guys are going to see why real soon. The volcano's erupting. I love I ordering the Krakatoa that. Punch. I miss that so much. All right, guys, so I got myself the Krakatoa Punch, and it's honestly my favorite drink to order because when you order a Krakatoa Punch, it gets really silly in here. It gets really silly, <laughs> and it's fun, and it's like lava. Did you see that? Oh, on top? yeah, look at the lava inside, guys. Watch out. You do not want to get burnt. 
by the molten lava. Yes, and I got myself the tiki 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 rum. You have to say it five times, so I still won't give it to you. Yes, there you go. they're very specific about that. They're very specific, so remember <laughs> to say it five times. All right, so I got the tiki 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 rum. I have to make sure I got those right. <laughs> but yeah, it has reserve rum, it has cream of coconut, pineapple juice, orange juice, that cinnamon, and nutmeg. And I think it just has full of deliciousness. Here we go, cheers. That co cream of coconut is just like my favorite thing. A little bit of hint of, of spice because of the nutmeg and the cinnamon. Let me just say, this is a delicious drink. Definitely tastes a lot like a little coconut and a little bit of pineapple. It's delicious and it's refreshing. So if you're here at Trainer Sam's and you're craving something with pineapple and coconut, get yourself one of these because it's so delicious and scrumptious. Cheers. All right, so right here I have the Krakatoa Punch and I had to get it in this little souvenir mug. Now this is an awesome tiki mug. Look, lava is spilling right out and right on the inside you got a really Watch light. Watch out, don't get burned. <laughs> oh man, I hope I don't get burned, guys. Oh, I love this. It is very sweet. I do like the taste of it because if you do like the, the flavor of punch, it does have that. You do have a little tanginess, which is really cool. and. You don't really taste the alcohol a lot, but it's definitely there because two of these, and it's time out. It's into the volcano you go. <laughs> now, Trader Sam's is honestly a really awesome spot to come to, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be very hard to get into Trader Sam's, so just be aware that you might get in, you might not, but if you do get lucky enough to get in, because I think Janelle and I got really lucky getting into Trader Sam's. But even then, like, when we put down our virtual name, they give you at that time when we went, they gave you an option of either doing indoor or outdoor. So if you want to be inside, you might wait a little longer. If you want to wait outside, then it might be a little less. Yeah, so we waited so, about three hours to get into Trader hours. Sam's. Yeah. So what we did first is we went to Tangaroa Terrace. We had some food. We walked around the Disneyland Hotel. We had a like a little date at the Disneyland well, Hotel yeah, is what we, we did. did. A little nostalgic <laughs> and all that stuff Yeah, too. so we did all that pretty much. And it was really fun. And we, and we really burned about two and a half hours. Yeah, and then we went pretty fast. Yeah, huh? and then we went to go sit down in our little lounge that we found over there by uh, the Frontier uh, yeah, Tower. Yeah, we just relaxed for a good like 45 minutes until we got yep. the checks. Yep. And we got lucky to sit inside, especially at the bar, which yep. is really nice. We're at the bar, got my Krakatoa punch. And by the way, guys, if you want to see that video where we did Trader Sam's, uh, like a full review, I'll leave the link below because yes. today we're going to get some drinks. We're not really going to do them all. all it's going to be too have, hard. We don't have our friends here to help oh, us out. And, oh! oh. oh. Right now they're making my drink the hippopotami tie. And by the way, in case you get attacked by a hippo, they have a break in case of a hippo attack. Stole it. Someone stole it? Someone stole it. Someone oh. got attacked by a hippo. Oh, no. <laughs> There's been a lot of hippopotami tie attacks. Oh no. So. Hopefully we're not, hopefully we're not, you know, <laughs> we're not attacked. All right, so Ramon is making our drinks right now. Piranha pool right oh, there. Oh, the piranha pool. Just keep your hands outside of the glass at all times, okay? Perfect. perfect. <laughs> and a hippopotamide side. Oh, all right. Oh. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got the piranha pool. Volare. Oh. Why are you seeing a volare? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> There it is, the hippopotami tie and the piranha he pool. He said to keep my hands inside the glass, but it's very really hard to when there's a delicious pineapple right on top. That's true. Wow, that drink is pretty. Just like the lady drinking it. Thank you. This drink is delicious though. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> it looks really fancy. I like the glass. And look at all that mint. I can smell it from here. It's fresh. Yes. <laughs> and we just ordered some sweet potato fries. Yes. And they're warm and crispy too. It's like my oh, favorite. Yeah. I think it's like the only place you get sweet potato fries because everywhere else in the park they don't have them. Right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm, so good. I'll get one myself too if you don't mind. There we go. Oh wow. All right, so right here I have the hippopotami tie with rum, more rum, orange curacao, almond syrup, and some agave nectar. So <laughs> let's try this out. And it's got a little bit of lime juice too. 
Whoa! That's strong? That's a lot of rum. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Like, let's, make let's make this one strong. It's definitely an attack on a hippopotamus right here. This is, ooh. And what's really cool though is when you drink it from here, you really get that aroma of mint and it really does something with the drink. It actually changes the, uh, the taste profile. It's really nice. I do like this and it's strong guys. So just letting you know, if you want something strong, get the hippopotami tie because yeah be careful with those hippopotamus my, i think my chair went down and then it went up like this yeah like, these chairs they bounce up and down to know <laughs> you didn't know that no i didn't know that yeah it's a little oh earthquake these chairs do that <laughs> i didn't know that yeah only some chairs i was like why am i going down <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little earthquake yeah <laughs> All right, so we decided to order one more drink. We're gonna get the Dole Whip. Yes. Actually, the adult Dole Whip. And uh, here it comes right now, look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Wow, Ramon. Right right here. Here. Wow. wow. Ram. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Ramon is like the best. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so this is the Dole Whip, and it has a little bit of coconut rum inside. It's very pretty looking. You got a little pineapple on top, a little cherry. And this is the way Janelle and I are gonna end our night. Oh, wow. It tastes just like pineapple Dole Whip. Just like the juice they have, the pineapple juice, with a little bit of rum. It is very nice. So it has that coconut pineapple taste, very delicious. And if you're here at Trader Sam's, guys, I promise you this one will not disappoint. <laughs> Goodbye to the Trader Sam's. What an experience, I know, huh? That was so nice, and you got a little mug. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we had a fantastic time I here know, at Trader so Sam's. Much fun. Yeah, I love the experience. I it's just always something magical. We didn't do an intro for this video. We didn't do an intro. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> here's the outro. <laughs> <laughs> we're just so excited to like get things done, and yeah. we're. But yeah, well, mm -hmm. here's the outro. <laughs> I just want to tell you guys, thank you guys for joining us. We had a fantastic time. We're going to make a lot of videos yes, that are going to be things fun. Are coming up yeah, now. a lot of new things are coming mm -hmm. up. We're going to have a lot of foodie videos. And we want you guys to join us. So don't forget to yes. subscribe. Don't forget to like. And again, if you really want that Goofy's Kitchen to come back, don't forget let to leave that know. comment. Let them know that you want Goofy's Kitchen and the Chams back too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the Trams need to come back. <laughs> we just want to say we love you guys. Thank you for watching. But we'll see you guys here next time on I'm Magic Journeys. Us for World of Food. Well, we didn't create an intro, so yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching us. <laughs> we'll see you guys Magic next time Journeys. on yeah Magic Journeys. Magic Journeys. Bye. <laughs>